Forgotten Adventures is changing the way map makers and game masters use Foundry Virtual Tabletop with our new FA Nexus module. With Nexus, you're able to tap into the entire Forgotten Adventures library right inside of Foundry. Here, we'll be showing off some of the features available now in our beta, starting off with texture painting. You can fill in textures with the Flood Fill tool, make texture shapes with rectangles, ellipses, or polygon tool, or draw them with the brush tool. There is an eraser mode for all of these tools as well. After you've made a texture, you can go back and edit it by selecting them in tile mode and clicking the edit button. This will allow you to edit the texture, swap out the texture with another one, or adjust the offset, scale, or rotation of the texture. Next, we'll be taking a look at paths. You can use this tool to draw various kinds of walls, ridges, or decorations by selecting the path you want and clicking to place nodes. Nodes allow you to have fine control over your path, but you can also adjust the path's direction, fade, or shrink in the path's tool options. To decorate any map, you also need assets. Not only can you place any of the assets from our library one at a time, but by selecting multiple assets, you are able to randomize which assets get placed. You can also give assets a random rotation or random scale to make them look more natural. All assets also have the option to add shadows on placement. Shadows at the same elevation do not overlap. All assets, textures, and paths have adjustable elevation, allowing you to add real depth to your scenes by stacking multiple layers of assets or have overlapping paths to really make your map stand out. Finally, there are tokens. Not only can you browse our entire library of tokens and place them in the map quickly, but you can also link these tokens to actors so they have the appropriate stats. You can also make the tokens you place be more unique by giving them random rotation, random HP, or even random colors to make them stand out. Also, by selecting multiple tokens at once, you can randomize between different tokens, making it easy to fill in a scene with NPCs. When it comes to finding tokens, you can use a variety of search terms and sort by filters. Once you have the search you're happy with, you can save it to make it easier to find those tokens next time. We hope you enjoyed this look at what's already possible with FA Nexus. It's still in its early days as we're actively building, refining, and adding features. Your feedback will help shape where we go next. So dive in, try it out, and let us know what you think.